Hey, what's up my friend, Mike Robertson here. And today I wanna to talk to you about a concept I call ramp days. Now, before we get into the topic, let me tell you a little story and what helped me better understand why ramp days are important. So if you go back to 2011, 2012, I'm working with the one and only K-Dog. And K-Dog is getting her first taste of serious hardcore training where we're in the gym five, six days a week. And she's doing everything that we ask and I'm tracking her HRV and I see time and again, like during the week, all right, her HRV is going up, up, up. Her resting heart rate is going down. She's getting fitter. She's getting stronger. And then I notice like two or three Mondays in a row that her HRV tanks and she's ready. And I'm trying to figure out why is that? And so, you know, I ask her, are you sleeping well on those days? Are you getting enough rest? Are you going out and having a little bit too much fun? Like what's going on there? And she's like, no, absolutely not. I'm not doing anything on Sunday. And this triggered me because I realized, you know, hmm, if you're just sitting around all day long, maybe that's not the best thing. Maybe your body actually thinks something's wrong. And a discussion I had with Dave Tenney years ago actually confirmed that. He said that if you have an athlete that's very fit, it's used to moving every single day, and they start to take, you know, a day or two days in a row where they just sit around and do nothing, the body basically thinks something is wrong, they get a massive immune response, and ultimately they're not prepared the next day they go in the gym. So. If you look at our kind of high-low split that we got going on here, where Monday, high day, Tuesday, low day, we kind of scissor back and forth. But by the time you get to Sunday, if you take it totally off, what ends up happening is your next Monday workout is trash. Your HRV is down. Physically, you feel sluggish. Mentally, you're just down. You don't have the normal level of energy. So this is where ramp days come in. Now, before we talk about exactly how we want to set this up. Let's talk about what a ramp day could look like. I mean, don't overthink this, my friend. It could be just going in and doing some light mobility work. Go in, move around, do some dynamic stretches, maybe do just a little bit of maybe static stretching where you're doing some, some stuff to drive airflow into different spaces. There's a lot of things that you could do there. So it could be a basic mobility session. Two, it could be just a cardio day. Low intensity cardio, if you don't have access to cardio equipment, doesn't matter, go out, take a walk. That's all I had K-Dog do on Sundays. I said, go out, walk for 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes, just get out in nature, move around a little bit, and we saw her HRV spike back up. So you could do that. Three, you could do some sort of light workout. I actually just did this with one of my athletes today where you know, Glenn and I go in the gym and I know he's got a big squat day tomorrow where we're gonna focus on some speed, some power, some explosiveness. So I don't want to trash him in the gym today. So we go in and we push the prowler, which is a concentric only strategy. We have him do some med ball throws where we're alternating and stepping backward, trying to get him to load and unload his hips, get everything moving and shaking right. We do some light uh, upper body work and then we're out of the gym. We're ready to go next day. So there's a lot of different things that you can do here. Now, what's really important, what don't you want to do? Very simple, my friend. Do not go in the gym and smash yourself, okay? This makes absolutely zero sense because remember, it's not about Sunday. Our goal Sunday is to do something, right? So instead of doing absolutely nothing, maybe Sunday looks like this, so that when we come in on Monday, we're ready to go, we ramp back up, all right? That's the whole idea behind a ramp day. Instead of taking Sunday off and coming in where you're physically and mentally kind of drained or sluggish, you do a little something just to stimulate your system Kickstart the recovery, get your body freshened up and ready to go so that on Monday you're ready to have a great training session. So I hope this video has helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the uh, comments section below and I'll be happy to help you out.